Since its inception in 2004, the Skateboard Mag has been the authority on who's who and what's what in skateboarding media. We'll catch up with founder Dave Swift to relive a few of his favorite moments and find out what he thinks about the current state of skateboarding. I'm Chris Pastris, and today we're taking you inside skate. So Dave, first off, thanks for having us here. No problem. And uh, take us back to the beginning, Swift. The Skateboard Mag's birth. The beginning? Um, gee, that would be about 2000, late 2003. It just seemed like the right thing to do at the time. Um, skateboard magazines were pretty big. Trans World Skateboarding was huge. And uh, it seemed like that was the time that we needed to like kind of jump ship and do our own thing. Because the corporate version of skateboard magazines was kind of getting out of hand and it just didn't fit what we were about. We wanted to be better than the other magazines. Like we wanted to be able to do it. Like if we wanted good paper, we wanted to be able to buy good paper. If we wanted to just have the best photos, we wanted to be able to do that. Not have someone else dictate that to us. Sure. Mainly, I guess, from outside of skateboarding. Like you know, we're gonna have Slim Jim come in. You guys gotta do this. And it was like, <laughs> I don't really see how that fits what we what, what skateboarding is all about. But yeah. you can see that there was money there. But that wasn't why we were into doing a skateboard magazine. It wasn't sure. just about the paycheck, it was about, it was us creating something that was cool. So, and that was what skateboarding was, you know? What are your thoughts or feelings on internet versus print? For you, as a veteran of it, like what are your thoughts and feelings on it? I mean, the internet's rad, but people can't. I mean, it's, it's rad because it, it, you can change it daily. You know what I mean? Like you can make mistakes or put something up and you're like, oh, that kinda sucked. And then go on to the next thing. Like when you print something, it's there, it's done. Like mistakes are, are like, they're forever, you know? Is this immediacy good or bad for the skateboard industry? Everybody expects to get everything for free, you know, which is, it's hard to run a business when everything's free. It's good in that it gets, you know, people are able to just see things whenever they want. I mean, you know, we all use it for our own, oh, what, I, you know, I'm always like, I'll Google it and check it out. Like, you know. You, <laughs> Where do you see the evolution in publishing ending up in five to 10 years? The website will be more of a magazine. Obviously the bulk of the everyday, like, ah, you know, drive the, the skate porn as they call it, you know, like just like, hey, whoa, you, they got this, and yeah. I mean, what everybody looks at. And then the actual printed version, I think, will be bigger and better magazine things that would like be more like you'd have on your coffee table. Like maybe, maybe there's only four a year, you know, that are sort these big, huge, stuff. like rad, like, oh man, that thing's just cool, I gotta have that. You know, it has the best photos, it has the best interviews with people that you really wanna see. Like, you're, you're actually going out and printing something, it should be something that's kept, and it's like, look, it was like, well, this is important, I gotta keep it, they're printing it, Yeah. you know? If you guys start 2003, you know, eight years into this, what are some of the major changes you're seeing? Well, every kid can do every trick now, first try. That's probably a, a big change. Like, you just go out and kids are just immediately ripping, like, what? You know, I can still say to people, like, you'll never learn an invert. <laughs> <laughs> you never get your hand on coping, buddy. <laughs> you know, I mean, because kids can't do that, but like, every, it seems like every kid can do a kickflip, backside, lip slide, no problem. And that was like the 90s in a nutshell right there. Like, if you could do, like, uh, kids just, working it, working it, working it until they could do something like that. And then now it's like, God, yeah, like it's insane. Um, people get paid now. <laughs> Every, they all still love to skate, but like it, it seems people think about the money aspect before they think about the the lifestyle aspect of skateboarding, yeah. you know, I mean, on, a, on a bigger level. I think there's a little bit too much emphasis on who, who, what, how do I get sponsored? How do I get paid? How do I, you know, those levels of skateboarding, which I don't know. They seem to kind of detract from what skateboarding is. Where do you see the evolution of skateboarding going? Well, I think skateboarding is the best it's ever been right now. In that all these guys that skate everything, and they skate everything pretty good. You know what I mean? Like it's not like before you had a dude that was a vert skater that he skated a little street and he looked, you know, he could look kind of good on certain things, but like you knew he wasn't a street skater. Mm -hmm. Now you kind of get confused and you look at people and you're at Grant Taylor and you're like, is he a street skater? Is he a vert skater? Yeah, sort of like the super pros. I, I don't they get it. Like, it's like the 80s pros, they skate everything. Right, and, and what's rad about it is is the title is now they're just a skater. 
just somebody that can just skate and like look look good on a skateboard, enjoys it, like and you know blows minds. You know that's a pro skater to me. I, I will definitely agree with you on that point. <laughs> so I know you guys just wrapped up issue 103. What can you tell us? Well, top it's, secret information, Swift. It is. It's it's kind of this. If I let you know, I might have to kill you. Sh share with our viewers. All right. Well. I think one, this, one of this year's hottest bands, John Dixon, has an interview. Dixon. Pretty Dixon. sure it's going like to be top-notch stuff. Atiba Jefferson photography in there. Um, we've got a trip to St. Louis to with Louis. guys like Jaws. And ah, sure. Jumping off something big, no doubt. Once or twice, I'd say. <laughs> and, and you got to tell us, so who's on the cover? That's that's secret information. On, I mean, I, no, I, I can't. That's something that we just don't release to people. <laughs> But I will tell you, it's going to change skateboarding. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> well, Swift, thank you for your time. No all problem, awesome Chris. Information. Thanks for coming down. Much appreciated, buddy. Well, that's all she wrote. Be sure to check out the next issue of the Skateboard Mag. For Inside Ally Sports, I'm Chris Pastris. Thanks for watching. Ideals in the place to be. John is on the mic. ID on the beach. Let's get a mic check. One, two, one, two. And if we're gonna spit it to you, best believe that it's true. We put it down. And that's for real. All you other mother chill. So when you say, What's the